don't touch me with that phone. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> the temptation. It is temptation, isn't it? Yeah, we had some fun here this morning, have we? Absolutely. Yeah. So what are you what are you doing all painted, Pat? Well in my studio here. Huh? Like normally I like to paint canvas. Today it's been you. <laughs> What's going on here? I think um Began, it began with an idea to uh, enter a competition, but it, it's actually um, ended up being more than that for me, and I want to honour and thank you for that. Um, to um, present at another level in front of the camera yeah. and to be Ignite placed in this environment. Yeah. Um, we've done it in two takes. First take, we ended up with no sound, but perfect. Um, and to so is this, is this the divine feminine coming out of you, Pat, or what? Uh, it could be. This could be a little bit, isn't it? So, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, totally. Tell us what is it? What is it? What is it, what does it mean to be feminine? What is what is the feminine energy of the world today? Because for me, as a man, like you know what I'm like, of of being labelled as a bully in many regards and being told I pick on all sorts of people on all different levels, but someone like yourself can come in and just push me around and have your own way with me as you see fit. So clearly someone like yourself gets to sit in your feminine around myself. So what is, is, this, is this an expression of your own feminine and your own identity? Yeah, probably, because I think, um, yeah, I think um, feminine energy and, and perhaps male energy too, but creative energy comes from source. Yeah. And it's the same as sexual energy. Totally right? it is. It, it's it's totally, playfulness. You know, um, I'm watching it play out myself this morning. <laughs> it's actually so, quite nice. So, you know, to, to go from, you know, I had a pretty um, formatted and organised and straight presentation that I was going to do straight to camera because I didn't have any equipment. Mm. Um, and now stepped in, left, left my comfort zone come to your comfort zone <laughs> and um, stepped here in this environment for the first time and um, yeah allowed um, allowed a level of vulnerability to that's an understatement <laughs> <laughs> to have you see who I could be um, and to to share that at another level yeah so Pretty and motiva I, motivational, really. My vision for 2020 since 2004 has been that we'll be having an intimacy revolution. Yeah, totally. Mine, and, mine too. And, you know, that's about um, engaging with each other at a, at a different level and yeah. allowing others to see who we really are, um, not the persona. And, you know, a lot of the joyologists that I've been expressing... Um, has in its evolution <laughs> been somewhat of, of a persona. I donned the gorgeous hat and uh, stepped out looking beautiful um, through times when that's not how I really felt. You know, there was yeah. a lot of sadness, a lot of, a lot of grief and pain, yeah. but I did it anyway. So, you know, melded with that was like courage to step up again and to be um, game to do it even though I had someone feed back to me once and she said, I can't wait to see how you evolve. And she really meant it, you know. It was like mm. she accepted me totally as I was in that presentation but could see the potential. And I think um, I'm reaching a point now where I can accept and own some of that. Step into that space of confidence, eh? Yeah, and, you know... That's what I like bringing to the table, especially in front of the camera, because, you know, facing a lot of my own inner torment and stuff that's been going on for me, it's how we start to light up inside and bring it out our inner expression and our, our vulnerabilities, yeah. our feminine and masculine side, and start to actually allow ourselves to be in a wholehearted space where bullets bounce off us and we get a, a chance to express ourselves emotively in a new and creative, vibrant zest. And movies have helped us do this, you know? The, um, I don't think that come, this comes from a movie. No, no. But <laughs> You've decided the canvas is bad enough. Things were, were seated, you know. Um, what's that Avatar movie, I See You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yep. that opened up for us to see each other in another way. And then um, to be able to see people beyond, beyond 
<laughs> yeah. Appearances are telling me one yeah. thing. Um, beyond, beyond the masks that we all apparently wear of our bright colours, which aren't really our true self. Yeah. And, um, you know, for years I've loved the... Well, I had a, the first... My longest memory is being in the backyard with the dog and a dress-up box. Um, and I've still got a dress-up box. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and yet there's been periods of great drought. Oh, yeah. You know, where it hasn't come out. And um, other people's opinions I've taken to heart. And so I've yeah, gone, I've gone cave. Yep. Mm. Where mm. are you now on that, on that journey? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I'm coming out. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I love that because so many people don't know how to find their way out of the darkness. And yeah. How, would you, how do you find your way out of the darkness, Pat? Uh, I believe the only way out is through. So if it's you're going like, through hell, don't stop because it's no place to chill out. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, we've got to be up for the journey. So we need, we need people around us who understand. So we need a really solid circle of influence. Sometimes we might need a, a coach or a mentor. Um, but I think the main things that I've valued anyway have been um, I made a commitment. So whatever comes up, I'm going to it. That was in 2001. Um, I've journaled. So I've got this documentation and the language of 2001 compared to now um, is, is a very different Sorry, picture. this is a beautiful <laughs> synchronicity of serious conversation with you with paint everywhere. <laughs> like, go on, spot me on the nose. Yeah. Go on. Oh, not quite that bad. Well, there's, there's something different. I've been maimed. <laughs> yeah. Little Dagar, I think. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> awesome.